Hello YouTube viewers, hope you're all doing good. Welcome to this video. I'm Venkat and this is Just Made Open Source Channel. Right. In this video, let's see how to install uh, Helm. So this is not actually a proper video. I just, this just kind of a quick update for you. Uh, if any of you are using Kubernetes version 1.16, you might have noticed this. When you follow my uh, getting started with Helm video, um, if you search in uh, YouTube for getting started with Helm, uh, you probably hit my video and that's the video that I did long time ago back in I think it was when the Kubernetes version was 1.13 or something so I've received few comments from the users that uh, they can't follow that video to install Helm on their Kubernetes uh, version 1.16 cluster so that's because Helm uh, has not yet supported Kubernetes version 1.16 so with version 1.16, there were a few API changes, API version changes. Um, I've done a separate video on that. I'll be releasing that soon. Uh, or by the time you're watching this video, it might have already been released. Uh, but some of the API versions, for example, for deployment, for daemon set, uh, the API versions that you used to specify in the YAML file uh, is extension slash v1 beta 1. So that's changed to apps v1. Uh, and I'm not sure what else has changed. But Helm clearly uh, doesn't support version 1.16 as of now. But that doesn't mean that you can't install or you can't use Helm with Kubernetes version 1.16. There is a workaround. There's a tweak that I'm going to show you. Um, and hopefully soon they will start supporting version 1.16. So until then, you can follow this workaround to have Helm installed in your cluster. Sorry, Helm is actually a binary that you install on your workstation and tiller is the component that you install on your cluster all right so i'm using helm version 2.14 uh, i'm not using helm version 3 which is still in the pre-release stage with helm 3 they are going away with uh, the tiller component so it will be just your helm binary no server side component or anything so that's version 3 but i'm still sticking with uh, version 2.14 because that's the latest uh, stable release so 2.14 and kubernetes version 1.16 all right, so I would advise you to watch my getting started with Helm video on how to download the Helm and how to uh, install it. So basically you just download Helm and then move it to user local bin, which Helm, so I moved the binary to user local bin, kubectl version minus minus short. So I'm on version 1.16 and uh, what else? Helm version minus minus short. So version 2.14, I'm using version 2.14. I haven't installed or deployed the tiller component in my cluster yet. So I'm going to show you uh, what will happen if you follow my getting started with Helm video. All right, so first thing we'll do is we'll be creating a service account, kubectl minus n, kubesystem create service account tiller. All right, that's done. And then we're going to create a cluster role binding. Cube CTL minus N cube system. Sorry, you don't have to specify the namespace. Cube CTL create cluster role binding tiller. Cluster role is cluster admin. Basically, we are uh, giving the service account tiller the cluster admin privilege. Uh, and the service account is the cube system tiller. All right. So we've created the service account, we've created cluster role binding. So now we are going to initialize Helm. The command is Helm init minus minus service account tiller, right? And if you do that, you will get this error. The server could not find the requested resource. Um, well, it could have sent some meaningful um, output, but that's all you see. So with this error, you actually don't know, you actually won't know what's actually going on. But fortunately, uh, after searching in the internet, after uh, reading through a few articles, I came to know that it was due to the API version changes uh, you are getting this error. So the workaround is to not actually init the Helm, but just do a dry run kind of thing and then grab the YAML file, update it, and then deploy it using the normal kubectl method. Let's try and do that. So just go ahead and do a helm init minus minus service account tiller and then minus minus output yaml and if you do that it's not going to deploy anything but it's just going to spit out the yaml file that it's going to use to deploy the resources right 
All right, so now we can redirect that to temphelm.yaml or whatever file you like it, and we can start editing that file. vi uh, temphelm.yaml syntax off. All right, the first thing, API version. As I said previously, in version 1.16 Kubernetes, uh, the API version extensions v1 beta 1 has been deprecated. So in place of that, you have to be using apps v1. So that's one change. And then under the spec, you have to add a selector. Selector and you're going to match for labels. Match labels and the label we are going to match is app is helm name is tiller all right so just three changes one is the api version to apps v1 and then we are adding a selector match labels app helm and name tiller that's all exit and then now we are ready to deploy this kubectl create minus f temp helm dot yaml all right, so now we should be good to go. kubectl minus n cube system get ports. As you can see, tiller component has been installed on your machine and it's running in your cluster and it's running. So now we can do helm list, helm repo update. And then we should be able to do all helm things. Helm search nginx helm search grafana and you can install helm basically helm install stable nginx ingress cool so helm is completely working helm status my nginx my nginx not found because i didn't specify the name helm list Helm status Kellaus fish. All right, cool. So Helm is working fine. So that's a quick uh, workaround or a quick tweak to get uh, Helm working in Kubernetes version 1.16. All right, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you've got any questions or any comments, please let me know in the comments. I should be able to help you. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. I've got lots of videos. So Kubernetes is an ongoing series. I've done like 60 to 63 videos so far, and it's an ongoing series. As and, as and when I know about more concepts, I'll just keep recording and publishing it in YouTube. All right, so thank you so much for your time watching this video. I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.